Well, hello again, YouTube. This is Veteran Mountain Man, and once again today, we are having major storms in the Pacific Northwest. Now, these are much tamer than the ones that we had just a few days ago that shut my power down, but we are still getting them nonetheless. We've gotten a little hail today, some really hard rain, we're getting some wind, and we're probably going to get more all the way through the end of April. Now, um, we were discussing earlier this week, earlier over the past couple of weeks, that it's good to be prepared in case of these types of events. And one of the things I was mentioning was having food stores in a pantry. But I realized that some of you might have trouble understanding how to shop for food stores. So let's first discuss a concept that you see in retail, which is called the idea of a lost leader or a loss leader item that is an item that they put on sale way below the standard retail price in order to draw you into the store to come shop now a lot of times companion products that you would use with a loss leader will be upmarked uh, a case in, a case for this i'm going to use is spaghetti so your local grocery store might have a sale on one pound spaghetti noodle pasta boxes. And instead of the normal, well, around here, the Baratoli goes for about $1.50. Uh, they're offering them for 80 cents per box, limit of four. But now you go and you grab your four boxes, and then what's the next thing almost anybody else does? They reach for the pasta sauce whatever pasta sauce they want to serve on that spaghetti. Well, in a lot of cases, that pasta sauce will be marked up marginally. Now, what that margin may be is really dependent. Uh, it could be as much as 20 cents. It could be as little as 5 cents. But what they are doing is they are expecting people to buy pasta sauce with the pasta when they buy. And so a technique when you're preparing to stretch your preparation money a little bit further is to only buy loss leaders for your prepping when they are loss leaders. Um, instead of buying both pasta and pasta sauce that day, buy the pasta, don't buy the sauce. And in a couple of weeks when they run the sale on the pasta sauce, because they inevitably will, or someone else will, you can then go and get your pasta sauce at the really discounted price and not pay the upmarked price for the pasta itself. And this works for a lot of different things. A lot of times you'll see like say box hamburger helper or a box mix meal like that go on sale and then you'll go over to buy the component ground beef with it. And the ground beef is a little more expensive than it was the week before. And the reason being is they know that they're going to sell a lot of those boxes of Hamburger Helper. But they're also going to sell a lot of ground beef. And so by marking the ground beef up a little, they are mitigating what that loss is. And they're only mitigating to the point that's the actual percentage loss and not much more. However, that amount can really add up. So when you are starting to look at preparing for the eventual power outage or the winter storm or the occasional tornado or the earthquake or whatever it is that happens in your area, and I feel for you if you're up in Alaska or someplace like, say, Wisconsin, where you can get snowed in and be stuck for several weeks because you guys are already masters at this. But those of you who aren't in those places, take a look at those ideas when you start looking to stock your preparations in your pantry, because they will actually make the entire affair cheaper. Now, I want to thank you all again for joining me. Please remember to visit me at minds.com forward slash veteran mountain man. Once again, if you like the content I'm pr putting forward, please like and subscribe. Uh... Also, I am going to be opening a Patreon account here soon. When I do, feel free to come over and subscribe to Patreon. I'm going to be doing some Patreon-only content. 
If instead you're a VidMe fan and you like VidMe, I am getting everything set up to verify my channel right now. Once I do, I will be accepting monetary subscribers and I will be doing some exclusive VidMe content. And that will only be available to my subscribers. Thank you all again and have yourself a nice day.